Dear Evan Hansen, today's going to be a great day, and here's why. Hey guys, how you doing? Oh, it's been it's been a while, and I I do I do apologize. I have an explanation. So I've been been busy with school, so I can't really you know cut cut back to videos like all all the time weekly. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try my best to give what I have to give you guys. Now let let me let me tell you why you guys are all you're all here. Uh, well, welcome to another episode of Jake's Movie Reviews. Yeah, it's it's also been a while since I've done a movie review. I think it's been since, like, um, Shang-Chi, actually. So, actually, wait, no, not not that long. Guys, go check out my Shang-Chi review if you, if you haven't. I really would appreciate it if you go do that. So, so today we are going to be talking about a, a movie... Which is it's it's a broad it was a Broadway musical before it was a film adaption so it's it was a play from Broadway and now it's now it's a film now it's in theaters, uh, and it's 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 good I'm gonna talk about it. it's good, but it's it's also it's kind of it kind of touches on a lot of a little bit of like sad sad topics sad like teen drama topics and uh this what what am I talking about oh uh, I'm talk about well today we're gonna review dear evan hansen i'll tell you that today we are going to be reviewing dear evan hansen exactly how i said it in the title well the opening not not title you 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 get it so dear evan hansen i'm going to be telling you guys what this movie it's is about so dear evan hansen follows well it's it's about a, a teenager who suffers from social anxiety and uh, his therapist recommends that he would write letters to himself from each day to day, so his day will be good. And uh, yeah, that's that's basically like the first kind of kind of like point of this this story. It's like this this guy has social anxiety, and uh, that that means like it's it's hard for you to be around people, and that. Oh my god, that is that's really sad. Sad for for Evan and uh, Evan. They uh they had uh Ben Platt from uh from the Broadway version to come back to play e Evan Hansen, which uh, has really sparked some controversy before this movie even came out. Cause Ben, let's let's talk about this. Ben Platt is twenty eight now, and he's playing a seventeen year old. And sometimes, well, it's it's weird to think about it, but also, why, if you have that question? Well, you know, he's, I guess he still cuts as, like, looking like a teenager, but, you know, he's from, 
he did it on Broadway, so what? what's wrong with that? And Evan, I also forgot to mention, Evan has a cast on, I think it's his right hand. I th right? Yeah, right. Looks like it's his right hand or left hand. Um, and yeah, it's, it's empty. And he tries to get people to have like them sign the cast, but they, they don't, they don't do it. And then, uh, uh, Evan meets this, uh, kid, uh, not kid, but this teen named Connor Murphy. Um, he has, well, he has some problems like with himself in his life. And um, he gets furious with him, and uh, he takes the the letter to Evan Hansen, and he also he's the only one who signs Evan's cast, and he uh, yeah he he, dis he disappears. It's real it's really hard for me to like talk talk about this. It's like how can you review Dear Evan Hansen without like saying what it's about? Like that's 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 hard and uh, and then uh connor's parents uh like reach out to evan saying you were you were one of connor's friends and connor wanted you to have this and they they thought that connor wrote that note um to him but really evan wrote that note to himself so really this is a whole misunderstanding that this whole movie this whole movie revolves this whole play this whole story evolves around this mistake that soon evan goes with this that connor was his friend but really he never knew connor he never knew connor which is you know, it's 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 touching. It's it's sad, but that's that was all a misunderstanding that they should have re revolved around, but they didn't. And basically, that's that's all the well, all what the movie is. That's all I want to say. I don't want to spoil it, you guys. I don't want to say say too much. I want you guys to, you know, go go enjoy it while you're watching it. Um, like whether you've you've seen the Broadway play or. And if you're a fan of the play, you know, you can go see the movie. Um, I want to talk about, like, the, the songs, like, in, in the next half. But I want to make a confession. Well, I know about, I have heard about the Urban Hansen. And I know how popular it is in the theater community. But I have never seen the play, Dear Urban Hansen. I've never seen it. So this is the first time I'm experienced something Dear Evan Hansen related. So now I gotta go see the play. I wanna go see the play. Cause this movie the the music was good. Story was good, but they they still they still should have like resolved things in the story. But that's I guess that's what made the story the story. If you wanna say that. Um songs I I'm, I'm gonna talk about the songs right now. So the songs let's let's talk about the songs because well i i was aware of this um at they there there were some some songs that were from the broadway version that weren't in the film and i just want to let you guys uh know what wasn't in the film if you guys are wondering so the songs the four songs so four songs did not make the did not make the movie which I think would have helped helped this this film, but uh, they actually uh, mention in the dialogue of some some of these songs. So the songs are uh, "Disappear," "To Break a Glove," "Good for You," and "Anybody Have a Map." So that those were the songs that were not in in the film, um, which. Might be a problem for you guys, but I don't. I don't know if it is. If it's a problem, maybe maybe it is. I don't know. Um, so there are two new songs that they used in in this movie, and uh, 
one of them was called uh, the uh, the anonymous ones. That was that was a new one. And uh, a little closer. That was also a, another new song that wasn't from Broadway version. And I I wasn't I wasn't aware aware from uh, I mean I wasn't aware of this that like none none of these none of these songs were in in the play I thought they were but I guess I guess they're they're not which I I think I think it's I think it's all right but I don't know you guys you you decide you decide I like personally. I like the songs, whether they're in the Broadway version or not. They were good songs. They were good. They were powerful. They were powerful, good songs. But, yeah, the rest of the songs, you know, Waving Through a Window, uh, You Will Be Found, uh, was it For Forever, was it? Yeah, For Forever, Sincerely Me, Requiem, If I Could Tell Her, You Will Be Found, I said that, Only Us, World, Words Fail. Yeah, and so so big, so small. Yeah, those those were those were the songs that were I guess from the from the play. That was was in this that they used. They were able to use. Yeah, so the casting was good. All the acting was good. Amy Adams was in this, and she played uh, Connor Murphy's uh, mother and Zoe Murphy. Which also I forgot to mention, Zoe Murphy is a girl that Evan likes and has a crush on, but is too scared to tell her. So that's another thing I forgot to mention. And we also got Julianne Moore, which I did not know that Julianne Moore could sing. And I guess she can, you know. So good 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 job, Julianne Moore. You can you could sing. Yeah. 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 Um yeah, writing was was good. You know, I have I've had seen some like mixed reviews about about, about this uh like about about this movie. And I think that's because of like the the Broadway version of how I guess it translates a little bit different than what the film film is. And I don't think that's what people understand like the critics they don't understand how the Broadway version of the film is like whatever whatever version of the end of the film is you know that that was that I mean that was that was tradition or people's visions I don't know how I can I could put my finger on that but that's that's all how I can really describe it right now and I also noticed this uh, you will be found uh which which is the the song in the movie so the people who did the the music were uh, justin paul and dan romer and they were actually the same uh people who did the greatest showman so ba basically you could put you will be found and this is me together and it kind of they kind of sound similar a little bit but yeah, I, that's that's just something I noticed myself. So on a scale of one to ten, I give Dear Evan Hansen a nine out of ten. Uh, yeah, which is I'm I'm gonna rate rate it a little little higher than what critics are, you know, with how they have their their scores because they're they're being a little too harsh on this. They don't understand. Some people understand, some people don't. They don't for this movie. Uh, like the songs, the acting, I said that, but I also love the story. Feel bad for Evan, though, that he, you know, he didn't have any friends at the beginning, but he didn't, he did make friends soon, but, you know, it's hard to, it's hard for some people to make friends, and that's, that's what Evan goes through. Um, yeah, and, uh, my, oh, my favorite song was uh waving through a window and i also like you will be found and sincerely me those three were probably my my favorites uh and i did like the new ones that were in the rest of the songs were good Wait, what what's your favorite dear evan hansen song let me know in the comments down below and let let me know what you thought of the movie no spoilers you guys no spoilers but let me know what you thought 
uh, I'm going to close out the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please uh, subscribe if you want to be found. Please subscribe, like, favorite, and share. Hit the bell so you're updated with what I post on this channel. Um, so what if episodes uh, 6 and 7 and 8, which is coming out this week, I know that I'm, I'm missing and I need to get those, those filmed. And with with Joey, so probably gonna do this this week, not not today, but possibly sometime this week. I'll do episode six and seven, and I might do eight and nine once Josh gets back. I don't know how I'm gonna how I'm gonna do this, but I'll figure it out. Uh, Turn and Hooch episodes uh, nine, ten, and eleven. I still need to do. Uh, I oh yeah also I also said I was gonna review the spider bot and the web shooter those were gonna be some videos web tech web shooters so those those videos will probably be sometime in October oh Venom to be Carnage I need to do a review for that which will be sometime this week or next week uh, free guy still need to review free guy and I'll I'll do that still either either I'll record today or to well, probably not today because I have a lot of other things to do and I just wanted to get you know do this review for Dear Evan Hansen just get out of the way get that out of the way so I have something to upload for you guys this week um, and oh my collab with Josh which is probably going to be in October so stay tuned for that anyways thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you next time and I'll see you in the future peace Guys, I hope you're being safe out there, you know, saying six feet apart and uh, still still kind of following the COVID rules, but still being safe, being healthy, and sending you a lot of good vibes. All right. Also, before I forget to mention, uh, go in the link in the description to go to Fandango if you want to get your tickets for Dear Evan Hansen. Just helping you out. All right. All right. I'm signing off. Thank you guys for watching. And here's my outro for this review. And yep. Hey guys watching and this is sincerely me if I said that, right? I don't know. Alright, bye. Bye guys. See you in the next video.